Patrick, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just saw a sign outside and they said like prayer. Uh -huh. And when I show up here, I was telling my husband, I just want to know how many people is praying for this event just to happen. Uh -huh. But you know, but more of, more of that, that what is going to happen that we know what we want right as a followers of jesus Amen. we want the whole world to know him you know but maybe you can answer that question <laughs> i've been looking for since i show up in this place okay well typically we get about a hundred people in this room praying for three hours mm -hmm. throughout the night from start to finish because it's really we feel that the work of the ministry is to as intercessors is to pray these people into the kingdom of god right mm. and so we start from before the event starts at 5 30 the event starts at six and we carry that per all of the prayers and cover the ushers the the offering we cover the you know the decision follow-up workers the you know greg Pastor Greg's message and everything that, you know, we have a whole list of things that we pray through throughout the evening to make sure that we've covered every little detail and, and maybe even some that, you know, weren't written down, you know, as the Holy Spirit inspires us. But uh, our desire is to see, you know, each and every decision. Those are divine appointments sent by God to for people to receive Christ and their lives to be transformed. And so that's why we're here. We're, we're here as intercessors to pray on their behalf that you know those decisions that are made tonight would be those seeds planted on fertile soil. Okay, so that's, that's our real purpose here in this room is to cover this entire event with prayer. Beto, we're in a holy place right here. I just, I feel that, you know, I have chills. My whole body is like goosebumps, you guys call that? Right, goosebumps? Oh, the air like, conditioning is really cold. I, I don't think, I, I think it's the presence of the Holy Spirit because Amen. let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit lives in us. Amen. Here inside, he, you, we're his home. You Amen. Know? Amen. So just to imagine, you know, 100 people here just praying to the mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, you know, to yes. show up. And this place is Indeed. wonderful. Thank you uh -huh. for everything you're doing. Uh, I never imagined that so many people, yeah. you know, but that is wonderful. Thank you, thank okay, you, thank well, you. I just like so emotional. I just like, <laughs> want to cry too. Well, God <laughs> so bless you. What's my story? What's your story? What brought well, you here? I go all the way back to 1977 when there was this long-haired preacher named Greg Laurie. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, was preaching back then dur during that Jesus revolution. Mm -hmm. And I accepted Christ then. And I've been involved in, you know, Harvest Ministries ever since. And uh, so I'm privileged and honored to be, you know, in this prayer room tonight. You used to have a long hair too? No, <laughs> I, I, worked, I worked for a grocery store, so they wouldn't let me. <laughs> but um, no, I've been uh, at Harvest Riverside um, pretty much since 1977. And uh, I was... Uh, I, I am a chaplain, and I also kind of work there throughout the week uh, at, at Harvest, um, praying for people. I, I kind of oversee men's prayer breakfast. I see uh, all of the, you know, the, the email prayers that come into the church. I manage those uh, via email, and so they've given me some responsibilities over the prayer ministry in general. And so it's uh, just a wonderful thing to do in my retirement. Wow. <laughs> I think when you choose, I, I feel like when you choose Jesus, it, that yeah. doesn't exist, right? Yeah. Because it's who we are. Well, it's who we it's are. It's who Amen. we are. Yeah, that's <laughs> so right. That is beautiful. Yep. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. I, I believe that a lot of people is going to wake up tonight. Amen. It's time. Yes. You know, and I know people is coming to found something. A lot of Christians are here, 
-hmm. But you know what? They forgot who they are in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit had power and they're being one foot in the world and one foot with Christ. So Correct. when I hear that tonight is all about worship music, like thank you Jesus because that's exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. You know, the truly believers and the truly Christians, they're going to be awake mm -hmm. tonight. Yes, thank you so much. indeed. We'll, and we will pray for that indeed, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, God bless you. And thank, thank you, you so much. Uh huh. Patrick, God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your life. Yes, indeed. <laughs> thank you.